Hello, friend. Uh, I'm back with another song, and this time it's Jingle Bell. Okay, uh, it's m very appropriate um, in preparation for Christmas. Uh, for those of you uh, want to celebrate Christmas, celebrate uh, Christmas. I'm sorry. Um, so this song has, let's see here, 16 measure. Okay, so we're gonna tackle eight at a time. All right. All right, so in this song, um, you're going to learn some new thing. And you notice that there's two notes that uh, stack on top of each other like that. That means you have to play them both at the same time. Okay? All right, now both, um, this song is still on uh, C major. Okay? So that's easy enough for you. All right, hope it's close enough. I'm gonna explain it to you now. All right, so for your right, your left hand is still on your pinky, which is your finger number five, still on C3. Your first finger, which is your thumb, still on G3. And you can see it right here. They are two on top of each other, and they both are whole note. That means they value a four counts. So when you play them, you have to hold for four counts. Okay, so that's what it is. And that's the same, that's the same, that's the same, and now this is different. So, the bottom note is F3. So that's, you have to use your finger two for that. And the top note is A3, you can use your finger one for that, and it's gonna sound like this. Two, three, four, okay? And then you will come back to the first one again that you did earlier, it's gonna sound like this. Two, three, four. And the next one is a different uh, group of notes. They're stuck together. That means you have to play them both together as well because they're not separately out like this, okay? If written separately, then you have to play separately. But because they attach to each other, okay? So this one is F3 is finger two and G3 is finger one. And they're gonna be sound like this. You have to hit together so it produce one sound only, not like this. Not like that. Have to be together. Okay? That's again the same thing as this. Alright, now that's your left hand. As already explained in previous video, the bottom line the bottom line here is for your left hand, it written in bass clef, okay? And the top line is for your right hand, and it's gonna be written in treble clef. And 4-4 four, four here, that means it's your time signature. It's telling you how many note or type of note in one measure, okay? So it say right here, 4-4, four, four, that means that's four quarter note. And the black note with the stem is a quarter note, okay? So one, two, and we have a half note. That's whole two count. So one, two, plus two is four. So one, two, three, four, okay? And you can see right here, it's telling you four quarter note, one, two, three, four. Okay? Basically, it's telling you there's four quarter note in a measure, and the quarter note represents one beat. Okay? That's what it means. If it say three eight, that means there's three one eight note in a measure, and that one eight note stands for one count. Okay? And you can see right here, this is a whole note, so it stands by itself. Because value of four beats, so it covered the whole thing, and on and on. Okay, and now I'm gonna play that for you. Your your thumb for your right hand is on C4. Okay, that's the position of C major. All right, and now here it is. So let you zoom out and you're gonna see my hand. Alright. Let's play left hand again. Pinky on C3. Okay? And then two note together, this two only. Pinky and thumb. The other three you you don't play. 
but you don't do this, okay? Leave it out, okay? So this is how you play. pause right here. Now this one is F3, finger 2, A. So you're reaching your thumb out. Okay, so 2, 3, 4, and then come back. 2, 3, 4. And this one's easier. It doesn't move. This one stays the same. Finger 2 on F3, finger 1 on G3. 2, 3, 4, and then 2, 3, 4. Okay, that's one more time without stopping here. Okay, that's your left hand. Now's your right hand. Two, 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 three, four. Two, two. Okay, all right. Now let's put both hands together. That's it. Let's go to the next one. All right, I'm going to zoom in. And so you can see better, I'm going to educate you a little bit more here. All right, so right, left hand basically is the same. Okay, so two, three, four. Okay, and now right hand. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, all right. I'm going to zoom out and let you uh, see my hand. And then I'm going to play the uh, both hand for the whole thing too. All right, one more time. Left hand. Two, three, four. 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 That's it. And my right hand. Okay, now let both hands together. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, now let's play the whole song. Let's play the whole song. One more time.
for, okay? All right, that's all for Jingle Bell. All right, good luck on your thing. And uh, once again, I'm going to say it in every single video, if I can, if I remember. So please ask your question in the comment section. And then um, I will try my best to respond back. And, um, and also, um, I will add my email into the description of this video. And you need to follow the instruction of that uh, in that so that you can get your your um, your sheet if you wish to get so. Um, I would recommend it. I won't charge you. It's PDF free via email. Well, also depend on how many people are going to email me too. Um, well, I have to figure out the way to do this. At the moment, it's not too many, so I can do it in, on an individual basis. If it's enough, then I might have to request uh, somehow create a website where you can download them uh, for that. But we'll we we'll work on that later, okay? If it ha if I have enough subscriber and people requesting, all right. All right. Um, also, if you don't understand what I'm saying or seeing on the sheet right now, you need to watch the other video um, that I have on there. So I'm going to attach to this video as well the link. So you can you need to watch them first, so then you can watch this, okay? All right, so good luck on your journey of learning a new song, Jingle Bells. Hopefully it will help you uh, be able to expand your knowledge and application to different songs in the near future. And just wish you the best, okay? God bless, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.